I'm absolutely boiling. So I realized that Arthur has no summer clothes. So I've just dropped him off at nursery. I've just dropped my car off to have a new tire put on. And I thought I'd pop into a charity shop see if I can find any like shorts or something because we're going to London tomorrow. So today is just planning, getting ready for tomorrow basically. Annoyingly, the only t-shirt in his size is this one and there are no shorts in his size. So I'm gonna have to move on to the next one. I didn't end up finding anything in like the five charity shops that I went in, in our first size. And I am so annoyed because the hot weather has just come out of nowhere and I have got no summer clothes for Arthur whatsoever. So I'm gonna show you everything that I bought. So I did end up going into the shopping center and popping into some shops I absolutely despise because I was desperate. So let's have a look what I bought today. This doesn't really count as clothes, but I wanna take it with me to London and obviously bring it back home and everything. But it's just perfect for this time. I do have a water table for him. So this, yeah, would go nicely next to that. It's a paddling pool and I had to think wisely because I've got two dogs at home. It was three, it's still weird saying two. And Charles the youngest, if it was a black one, he'd puncture it. So I had to find the like the one that's got no air in it. It's just like a plastic ring. So in Asda, I just bought this dinosaur water bottle for Alpha. I know, again, not clothes, but we're getting there. And he is obsessed with dinosaurs. So before anyone says, oh, of course it's dinosaur because he's a boy. I'm like, no, he genuinely likes dinosaurs. He will go rawr every time he sees one. So this t-shirt and matching shorts. And this was six pounds. It was part of their, what is it called? Amazing value bundle thing. Let's put it back on the hanger. This color too. And this one has dinosaurs on it again. Yes, there are some moms out there who are like dinosaurs. But I, if Arthur loves it, what am I, am I gonna say no? Obviously not. So what does it say? Some, some dinosaurs are very tall and some eat greens. So this one, he is gonna love this. We're on to the next shop now and that is, wait for it, Poundland. Now, I only shop in like, like for new clothes if I am extremely desperate for something and I was. So I was literally running like a mad woman in every shop and there's so, such good value if I'm being honest. And that is this t-shirt. It says, go outside and have fun. It's got a little, is that koala in there? And I also bought this two pack. It says wild one and just dinosaurs. I think, was it dinosaurs? No, sorry, crocodiles and hippos, it looks like. I also bought some shorts. These come as a two pair. It says long way to the beach. And then this like blueprint. Lastly, I went into John Lewis, treated myself to a Chili's bottle. Now I wanted a small one that would be really easy to take with me everywhere and just to make sure that I'm actually bringing it with me to drink because I don't drink enough. So I bought myself this gorgeous bottle in my favourite colour obviously, if it will focus. There we go. And it's got this lovely little um, handle and I've also seen that you can buy the straw lid too on the Chili's website so I'm going to do that. And it's just, it's got a lovely like, um, feel to it i'm loving this right i realize i've not videoed at all but we are in london only just arrived today arthur's here oh my gosh i'm so mucky this is my travel clothes is that fun? no so there's like um i want to call it like a mini heat wave here at the moment so it's not it's not like, well, it is boiling, but it's not like unbearable hot. So we're outside. We're just going to walk to the park quickly. I only arrived here about an hour ago. And yeah, we're just walking to the park. I'm going to try and I'm gonna let Arthur stretch his legs, have a run about, go on the slide and everything. And we did try setting up his paddling pool, but we realized there's no hose at this house. So that's annoying. Oh. My baby.
And we've come to the national, what's it? The National History Museum. Rah! And Arthur has just been doing that the whole time, looking at all the dinosaurs. So if you've got a dinosaur lover, definitely come here. <laughs> the dinosaur section is Jack and Arthur. I've never been here before. Look at this guy. Is he going to move? Dinosaur. <gasps> yeah. Where is it, Arthur? This is actually amazing. I mean, look at him. Wow, this is amazing, right? Absolutely incredible, really. You see it? Like, this guy is really creepy. He moves, like, very slightly every now and then. I don't know if I get it. I don't know if I'm gonna get it on oh. camera. We are now in the, what is it? So we're now in the T-Rex restaurant and yeah, Arthur is the biggest dinosaur fan. Oh, I'm sorry. Arthur is the biggest dinosaur fan, so that's why we're here really. But we thought, but we thought we'd come to the restaurant just to try it out. Oh, oh God. Thank you. It's a map, should we have a look? Don't miss the T-Rex. And I think we've seen the T-Rex, haven't we? Baby on the loose. It's quite empty here at the moment. Right, what's he seen? Rhinos. Rhinos. This whale just reminds me of Pinocchio. Yes, darling. He's back in again because, yeah, it just got a little bit busy. But I think those are elephant skulls. It looks like something from Harry Potter and I love it. Yeah, we're taking the underground today. So we're just going back on it. Hey boo, a bit different to normal. Mummy. <laughs> you not coming? Say hello. I can honestly say we left at about five, five-ish, which was really stupid because it was rush hour. That was the worst experience I've ever had going on the London Underground. And I have been on it many times before, but with a push chair. And when it's rush hour, hell no, it was awful. Luckily, Arthur wasn't really tantruming. He was, like, in a good mood. So we didn't have to deal with, like, a screaming baby or anything. But this is where I'm staying at the moment. It is at a... Well, I want to say a friend's house. Uh, one of Jack's friend's houses. Yes, darling? Mine. Yeah? What do you want for dinner? Mine. What do you want? Mine. What do you want? Me. Thank you. You're a good boy today, didn't you? You love the dinosaurs, didn't you? Knew we would. That's why we went to the Natural History... Natural? Natural. I've been saying National History Museum. Oh, my God. Natural History Museum. That's so embarrassing. Mommy. That's so embarrassing. That shows you how tired I am because we came back late last night. And I've honestly been so tired. I even said to Jack, I don't want to drive today. I'm so tired. So that's why we got the train. Well, that's why we got the underground. And it, it, it was not a good idea. It was, yeah, it was not a good idea. Well, for the time we left anyway. Um, yeah, I'm so tired. So I think we're going to have an early night tonight, aren't we?
today we just made it to Crystal Palace um, Park and I haven't really filmed much. Like, uh, I feel like the only thing I've filmed really is the Natural History, History Museum and Crystal Palace. A little bit of that anyway. And it's because I am so tired. London just takes out all of my energy, like honestly. That's why I don't live here. We've just done a little bit of shopping. In fact, Jack's still in there in Sainsbury's. And I'm just gonna put Arf in the car and he wants to go to this museum. But I don't know if I can do it. I'm so tired. Um, I'll never look what else is near, you know? Mm. We've, we've, we're here. We've come to Horniman Museum. It's cool. Music gallery. You're not allowed to bring push chairs to the main bits, but it's why Arthur is loose. But it's like empty. There's like no one here at the moment. I literally have no idea what is in this museum, but this is currently like a music room. Uh, someone's making finger marks on the windows. What have you seen? 64 and 65. It's a rattle. We found the room where you can actually play. No, Different in, oh, we haven't. Oh, apparently the piano doesn't well, work. I, I think the rest of it does. Oh, well, what does that do, Jack? I think there's an aquarium here as well, but I don't agree with aquariums if you didn't know. So we won't be doing that. But there is also a dinosaur evolution, evolution, sorry, thing that Arthur would love to go in, but you do have to pay for it. We found books. What should we look at? You want the. Oh, or Elma, search and find. You want the dinosaurs? There is a garden to explore as well, but we are so tired. So I think we just, we looked at some of it, but we're just gonna go home now. That's your, um, yeah. Mm. It's all vegan too. Mm. What's it called again, the place? The Royal... I don't even know. Is that my vegan mac and cheese? It is. Look at that. Right, we've gone with the Ashley Madison um, documentary. And here it is. This is all vegan as well, vegan duck. It is so far delicious. Right, excuse how I look. I just thought for the journey home, we're going to go no makeup, hair up. I've not even put any product in it, so this is just how we're going. But... It's time to go home and I'm actually looking forward to it. I've had enough of London. I've enjoyed it. We'll be back soon, I know for sure, but I can't wait to get home and be relaxed with my dogs. <sighs> I love being at home, I really do. So let's go. I think it's about a two and a half hour drive. And do you wanna see how I've packed? But next to me, I've just got some snacks for Arthur. These are for me, hummus chips. I hope they're, be yeah, plant-based. And then just my handbag and Arthur's water bottle and my water bottle that is filthy. And then this is the back. We've got the um, travel carts, <laughs> my dirty washing, that's nice. 
my suitcase and miscellaneous and in the boot is just the push chair and some bits and bobs and there's Arthur. You ready to go darling? Mom. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? I cannot tell you how nice it is to just sit down and be at home. I would say it's peaceful, but I do have my mum and my sister cracking up at Bridgerton in the other room. The new series is out, so that's what they're doing. I've got my herbal, I've had my shower. I'm gonna get in my fresh duvet, in my fresh pajamas. My next vlog is going to be in Bath because that's where I'm going next. That's mainly because my sister is a Bridgerton fan, so she wants to do whatever, I don't know. But I'm just going along for the ride, but I'm actually staying at a different hotel to them. So that's what's going on there. That'll be my next one. So I do hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a like. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Even when the number goes up by one, it honestly just, it makes my day. It, it honestly does. And I will see you all very soon in the next one.